Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading and this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate. If it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate as those may be meant for someone else. <clears throat> All right, we got those two that flipped over. We've got Ten of Swords and we have the Nine of Wands. Frustration with something. The Fool. And the Seven of Cups. Six of Pentacles. The Empress. The Four of Wands. And the Two of Swords. All right. I'm hoping my camera keeps recording. For some reason, it keeps... I was like four videos I started and then I camera stopped. So hopefully this is still going. Okay. Frustration in what direction are you heading? Ooh, we have the fool is looking right at the woman. Interesting child and the bridges all right what else do we got going on here king of cups i feel like you want to give up on something look at that we have the um ten of wands Getting back up on your feet, though, because we go from the, the nine to the ten of wands and where he's sitting down and he's frustrated and wants to give up. And then all of a sudden he's standing up, but he's carrying this on his back, right? Making a choice. All right. Two of wands, five of cups. The lovers. Think on it. Thinking on it. What do you need to look at? You need to think on something. The moon, Pisces, the sun. The moon and the sun. I love when the moon and the sun. I feel like it's coming out of the darkness into the light, right? And hearing the message. I love it. Love it. All right. So I feel like what you're frustrating, what you're frustrating. Again, my brain is working quicker than my mouth. <laughs> I just get so excited and I'm like, blah. You're frustrated with something. You want to give up on something. You're wondering which direction you should go on. Feeling like you want to give up on something. Feeling that you're not motivated. Feeling that you're on a crossroads. But I feel like you're at a crossroads. It's like, do you stand up? Do you carry this? Do you move forward? Or do you just completely give up? I say hang in there and give up. Because we have the fool, which is new, beginning, ideas, right? Thinking about it looking at what it is that you're focusing on, what are those things that you can do to energize yourself and pull yourself up and get yourself back on track, right? I feel that this has to do with a relationship, that I feel there's a lot of re frustration within the relationship. And yeah, relationships have that. Any type of relationship, friendships, partnerships, family members, we have those frustrations. I feel like you want to give up. I feel like it's a burden that's become too heavy for you and you're just not really sure which direction to go in. What you need to look at is, okay, you have to figure out within yourself what it is that you want to do with this relationship. This is the energy that surrounds you, but how do you really feel? Because I feel like she's, she's thinking, and I feel like the fool is looking right down at her and saying, okay, it's time for you to think and have a new thought process, right? How do you change things? How do you move from here? Where do you go from here? Picking yourself up, picking yourself up. Um, taking that time to yourself to really have that alone time to figure out what am I focusing on, right? Am I always focusing on these three spill cups or do I need to turn this around? Energy that wants to come in for you is, a, I feel, is a, lot, is a partnership, a lot of growth, a lot of evolving, a lot of changing, a lot of sharing, a lot of releasing, um, figuring things out. I feel like it's going from the darkness to the light, hearing the message. The choice is yours. It's all up to you. That's what I always say is that 
What are those things that you can control? What are those things that you are in charge of? What are those things that you can handle and that you can change? If this situation is dragging you down and you're not sure which direction to go in it, to get to remove yourself from this energy, right? How do you see things differently? How do you move forward? Taking a break from it, right? Stepping away from it. Sometimes when we're in this energy too much, we're our judgment is clouded, right? Our judgment is clouded and we're, we're not sure and we're confused. Sometimes for me, what I do is I'll go to the barn and I don't think about anything except for that time that I'm having at the barn and I don't think about any of my other things and I'm able to focus on that and it's almost like it's unplugging yourself from this energy here and then recharging yourself because you're focusing on something different not having the phone around, not having social media around, not having people around, right? Not having all these, whether it's just an hour where you go off to yourself or it's, you know, a few hours or whatever that time is needed for you. Because that's the time where your imagination gets recharged, right? That it's like, okay, let me get myself back on track. Let me recharge myself. Let's see, let's grab... Sometimes we don't even realize that we put ourselves in situations that's very draining for us and that we have to be the ones to stand up, right? Like he's going from here, he's sitting down to standing up. Nine of Pentacles, I love it. So you can kind of see. Nine of Pentacles. I love it because I could feel the energy start to change, right? When we have the Nine of Pentacles and we have the Ace of Cups. It's a rejuvenation that you have. It's having your cup overflow. How do you make your cup overflow? How do you turn things around? Look at this and then we have the Ten of Cups. Look at this. I love this. I love this energy. Look at, look at how it's shifted, right? We go from the dark to the light. We hear the message that you're in control of what it is that you put yourself in or you remove yourself from. King of Pentacles. Um, right. Take what works for you and leave behind what doesn't. Being patient. Looking things over. Seeing how you can change things. And starting new and starting fresh. Not holding yourself back anymore. I feel like you're holding... Why are you holding yourself back? Because you're keeping yourself in this energy where you're feeling frustrated and you want to give up. Death card. Time to move on. Time to let go. Time to put this energy to the back, right? To relieve this energy, to walk away from that energy. Time to hear the message and time to move forward, to start new, to start fresh. If this is what is holding you back, right? What can you change? What are you in control of? You're not in control of what other people think or what other people do, but you're in control of your thought process and you're in control of those things that you do. Remove yourself from the situation first so that you can gather your thoughts, so you can get your energy, so you can get your strength. I feel like there needs to be a lot of communication here. I feel like there's a lot of talking that needs to be, I feel like you have a lot of pent up things that need to be released, that need to be let go, right? Because that's what's causing this darkness and this heaviness, right? Are there people that you need to walk away from? Are there people that you need to distance yourself from? Are there people that you need to surround yourself with that are positive and are motivating, right? That can help you on your path. Um, I feel like this King of Pentacles here is the way he's looking. He's thinking about it, kind of thinking about, okay, who is positive? What is positive? What's that energy that I can focus on here? And then what are those things that I need to let go of? But taking those actions to take those steps, right, to be in the death card, to let go of what's not working for you, but to embrace what is headed your way, right, with the fool. All right, let's see. Easier said than done, I know. We have blossoming abundance. I love it, blossoming abundance. Why is it blossoming ab abundance? Because you're seeing that there is a problem. You're seeing that you're giving up. You're seeing that you're putting yourself in this 
energy that you're confused about what direction to go in and you're seeing that okay let me stop and think about this and how can I change this and turn this around and start something new right how can I get out of this energy you're seeing a problem and you're fixing it oh look at this one I like that one culmination com completion and renewal definitely Th that goes with the death card right Completion and renewal, completing, culmination, completion and renewal. I love it. <laughs> I like that card. It's pretty cool. All right. A leg up. Who are those around you that are there to support you, which I was saying before, that can give you that leg up, that can give you that boost, whether it's you know, people that you have around you, if it's, you know, what, I, as I said before, what are those tools that you have that you, that can help you to lift you up, right? What are those things that you can focus on? What are those things that you can do, right? For me, one of my tools is going to the barn because that helps me. That gives me a leg up. I go there and I focus on that and I release and I let go and it clears my mind for me to be able to Start focusing on what it is that I want to get done. What are those things, people, instances that can give you a leg up? Right? If you like to go running, go for a run. If you like to go to the gym, some people like to go to the gym because they feel that that gives them a leg up. Not only is it helping them physically, but it helps you mentally. We have koala spirit. Spirit has a plan, that there's a plan here. And I feel like the plan is, right, there's a message. And I feel like that goes with this. There's a message. There's a plan. It's for you to see that you are in control of the energies that you keep yourself in, the, the direction that you go in, the things that you follow, right, that you're stronger than you think you are and you have tools in your arsenal that can help you to achieve this, right? The Nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Cups. If it has to do with a relationship, you have to figure out, do you want to work on this relationship? Do you want to be in this re relationship, right? And if you do, then what are those steps that you can take to work on this relationship? Does it have to do with communication, working together, getting back to the fun part of the relationship, right? Where you're being feeling fun and silly, like as that, lost from the relationship and is that something that you need to work on or if it's just within yourself is like feeling like a kid again feeling excited right feeling motivated and going from the dark to the light the confusion and unclarity to seeing clearly all right let's get some charms here i love my charms so let's make a little spot here so you can see we have the birthday cake celebration, right? It is a celebration, right? With this blossoming abundance, a celebration because you're moving away from this energy. Music, time to sing, right? Time to sing, time to feel free, time to be independent and sing your own song. Turtle, this is something that's going to take some time, right? This is something that it's a process that you have to go through. We have the cross and skull bones, which the skull and crossbones, which I feel is this energy over here and not being stuck in this energy of this ten, nine, the nine of wands in action and the ten of swords being overwhelmed with so much, right? Being aware of this and not letting it overwhelm you. We have the elephant learning from situations, learning from choices that you've made, learning from other people. We have beautiful Beautiful, blossoming abundance, focusing on those positive things. And then we have the cross, which is that faith and belief in yourself, right? That you can do it. You can pull through. Knowing spirit has a plan. There is a message that is trying to get through you. Judgment is also an awakening, a renewal, a revival, feeling stronger, coming together, right? I love it. Feels very powerful to me. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.